Every time a jet roars through the sky, something incredible is happening. It's literally pulling itself forward by throwing air backward at supersonic speed. But how does that work? How can something as heady as a passenger jet lift off, cruise for hours, and stay perfectly balanced at 900 kilometers per hour? The secret lies inside one of humanity's most powerful inventions, the jet engine. It's a controlled explosion machine that turns air and fire into smooth, continuous motion. And despite how loud and chaotic it sounds from the outside, what's happening inside is pure, elegant engineering. Imagine this. Every second, a modern jet engine swallows thousands of cubic meters of air, squeezes it, sets it on fire, and pushes it out with such force that it can lift an airplane weighing more than 300 tons. All that, powered by an engine not much wider than a car. In this video, we'll go inside that engine, piece by piece, and see how air, fuel, pressure, and fire come together to make flight possible. From the spinning front fans to the fiery core, from cold air to molten exhaust, we're breaking down the miracle that powers modern aviation. Let's open it up and find out how a jet engine... It all starts at the very front, the intake fan. Those massive blades you see on jetliners aren't just for show. They're the lungs of the engine. Their job? Pull as much air as possible into the engine's core. The fan blades are shaped like twisted metal wings, carefully designed so that every rotation slices the air, compresses it slightly, and channels it inward. At cruising speed, they spin thousands of times per minute, pulling in more air than a human could breathe in an entire lifetime. Once inside, the air enters a series of compressor stages, dozens of smaller blades that squeeze it tighter and tighter. Each stage makes the air hotter and denser, stacking up pressure until it's ready for ignition. By the end of the compression section, that air is 20 to 40 times more pressurized than when it entered, hot enough to melt steel if it weren't managed perfectly. This is where the magic of thermodynamics begins. Energy transformation. Every molecule of air is about to be turned into power. The compressor doesn't burn fuel itself. It simply prepares the stage. It's like winding a spring so tight that it's begging to release. Now we reach the heart of the beast, the combustion chamber. Here, science meets violence in perfect harmony. The compressed air enters a circular chamber lined with fuel injectors. Each injector sprays a fine mist of jet fuel, atomized so that it mixes perfectly with the hot, high-pressure air. Then, a spark ignites it. What happens next is pure controlled chaos. Temperatures soar above 1,700 degrees Celsius. Pressure spikes to levels that could crush metal, and the air explodes outward expanding faster than it entered. But here's the genius. Instead of letting that explosion go to waste, engineers channel it. The hot gases rush directly into a series of turbines, spinning blades connected by a central shaft that runs through the entire engine. Those blades extract energy from the blast, spinning faster and faster, and that rotation, in turn, powers the front fan and compressors. It's a beautiful loop. Air feeds fire, fire spins metal, metal pulls in more air. A self-sustaining chain reaction that doesn't stop until the pilot throttles down. Every second, this process repeats hundreds of times, thousands of controlled explosions creating continuous, stable thrust. It's like holding a hurricane in a metal tube and somehow making it behave. Now that rushing wave of fire doesn't stop at the turbine. It keeps going. And it's what propels the plane forward. This is where Newton's third law takes command. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. As the hot gas shoots backward through the exhaust, it pushes the engine and the entire aircraft forward. It's simple in theory, but mastering it took decades of engineering evolution. The turbine section is split into high pressure and low pressure parts. The high-pressure turbines extract most of the energy to keep the compressor spinning, while the low-pressure turbines power the giant front fan, which provides up to 80% of the thrust on modern engines. The result is mesmerizing efficiency. Out of the inferno in the core comes smooth, cold air thrust from the fan, pushing the jet forward quietly and efficiently. 
It's like a hurricane wrapped in silk. And every part, from the shape of the exhaust cone to the curve of the fan blades, is designed to maximize airflow and minimize drag. Modern engines even use titanium alloys and ceramic coatings to survive temperatures that would vaporize aluminum in seconds. That's why you can sit comfortably in a metal tube at 35,000 feet, sipping coffee while an inferno rages beneath your wings. The next time you look out a plane window and see those spinning blades, remember, you're watching a masterpiece of physics, chemistry, and human ingenuity. A jet engine is more than machinery. It's a symphony of controlled air, precision timing, and relentless energy transformation, designed to work flawlessly for hours at a time in the cold vacuum of high altitude. From the moment it starts, every rotation, every spark, every ounce of thrust is calculated, balanced, and monitored. Even a single blade is crafted with micrometer precision, because if one fails, the entire system could collapse. Yet, despite its complexity, the principle is stunningly simple. Suck, squeeze, burn, blow. That's all a jet engine does, but in doing so, it moves millions of people around the world every day. That's how air becomes fire, fire becomes motion, and motion becomes flight. This was your 3D inside look at how a jet engine works. If you love seeing how machines turn raw physics into power, make sure to subscribe, because this is just the beginning.